start. I mean, what is it like to, you know, have four kids in football, have a, you know, uh, a husband who's coaching football? Just what all does that sort of require? How difficult of a job is that? Well, it's not very difficult, but it's very busy. I will mm. say that. We have a very active household with our four sons. Um, and John's career obviously takes him away quite a bit. But the boys have been very easy to adjust. I'm thankful we have sons instead of daughters. I think <laughs> moving in this business could be difficult. Uh, so we are thankful for that. Um, and, you know, it's going to be exciting to watch Zachary at this next level. And the other boys coming up to the ranks. So they all love basketball. They all love football. It's just... Mm. We roll off the balls in our house. <laughs> how does how does it work? I mean, obviously, John's got to put a lot of hours in, you know. So, like yes. you said, it is busy. There's a lot of back and forth. How does how do you make it work? And is does it get easy, easier as the boys get older? Or um, I'd say it was easier when they were smaller mm. because they were on our schedule, and mm. now we're on all of theirs. And mm. so I had last year we had five football games between Thursday and Monday, <laughs> and that's a lot of football even yeah. for a football family. And so Brady played Thursday night, Brock played Friday night, you know, Zach played Friday night, and then Saturday morning was Zach, or John Jr., which is Jack, and then John's game, and then we had another one on Monday night with Brock for freshmen. So it was just a lot. Um, and for basketball, we did 140 basketball games, I think, wow. or 100, 120, but we still have basketball going right now. So. How do you, so how do you make that work from a... From a there's, there's, mm. this has been a great community for us um, as far as... We've got coaches a little up the road here who are helping with the driving because I can't be in all those places. I have hired drivers to help me with the kids. Um, mm. And thank goodness that can take care of himself, you mm. know, and, and handles that part. And with Brock driving next year, I think it'll be a little easier. But we have two sons at Catholic right now, one at Bearden Middle and then mm. one at Sacred Heart. And so, again, it's just navigating the three schools and all their sporting events. It's just busy. It's yeah. busy. We don't have much downtime at all. And there, it's hard to squeeze in a family sit down meal right now if it's not <laughs> breakfast at 6 30 mm -hmm. you know so um when john has a day off that's what we love to do just cook as a family stay in do our kind of thing so um that's kind of what we enjoy a family basketball game outside the yard wiffle ball whatever it is what's it like getting used to it i guess at what point when do you sort of um you know this has obviously been sort of a life thing as long as you guys have been as long as he's been in coaching you know and the boys have always had to sort of deal with this like how do you What's it like kind of at the beginning better. when you don't know? You yeah, know. I, think, I think you get better with age. When, mm -hmm. uh, before we had children, I was, I was coaching myself. I coached three girls sports. I just thought uh, to stay busy, and I was a full-time teacher at the time. And really, this is the first job that we've had in Cincinnati. I took a little bit of time off, too, uh, as far as with education, but I'm looking to get back into that. So I think, um, you know, it's just something we've evolved to, and the boys have adjusted. You know, they get used to Dad not being here. My one son kept saying, is Dad going to sleep at your sleep home tonight? I'm like, honey, he comes home every night. He does, <laughs> except for recruiting. He's just, he's in bed when you come home, and he's gone before. Mm -hmm. And so that that's hard. I think John tries to do a good job of the defense and let them out a little earlier on some nights, but a lot of times my kids are wiped, and they're in bed after their own practices and homework, and, you know, they don't, they try and wait up. This year has been interesting with Zachary being a senior. There was a lot of times when John would come in at 11, 12 o'clock, and Zach would wake up and go back downstairs, and they'd meet and talk about games and things like that. So that was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do feel like that's, you know, we try to make as much quality time as we can versus the quantity, and, and we really hold that true and just value those moments together. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's important that he's raising all these other people's children, <laughs> but yeah. we have our four that right now, they're really transforming from that mama's boy to loving dad you know and mm. so that's that's really been interesting how do you uh, as far as making sure that that happens as, as far as making sure every week that you have a day or you have a few hours or whatever we carve out whatever we can this spring mm. it's been the first year that we um, are only doing spring football and training my son uh jack has broken three arms this year left right left oh and really fourth, dr ivy loves our family he's done mm. surgery on all of them except for brady <laughs> since we've gotten to knoxville um, and uh, so that has been helpful, but um, so we, we were at spring practice a lot this year because we were able to, but the fall is just another demon. I mean, it's just so hard in the fall with them all in their own football. Mm. Now, is that going to Tennessee? That'll alleviate one. Yeah. Um, but I don't know how much that's going to, and I think we need a couple more years. Brock will just be a sophomore. We've got an up and coming eighth grader and then a sixth grader. So two middle schoolers, a high schooler, and a college. I'll turn the video off now.